The U.S. military launched a secret disinformation campaign against China's Sinovac right here in the Philippines. That is the shocking revelation from a special investigative piece the Reuters news agency released over the weekend. Arian Kalumbiran with the details. In a bombshell investigative report published June 14, Reuters reported that at the height of the pandemic, the U.S. military ran a secret smear campaign against China's COVID-19 vaccine Sinovac here in the Philippines. Citing former and current U.S. military officials, Reuters said the secret campaign aimed to, quote, counter what it perceived as China's growing influence in the Philippines, a nation hit especially hard by the deadly virus. The report added that this campaign aimed to sow doubt about the safety and efficacy of vaccines and other life-saving aid that was being supplied by China. The U.S. Pentagon supposedly used fake accounts on social media to impersonate Filipinos complaining about the quality of face masks and test kits from China, as well as the Sinovac vaccine, the first COVID-19 jab to be made available in the country. Reuters described this as China's propaganda efforts that morphed into an anti-vax campaign. Reuters identified at least 300 accounts on X, formerly Twitter, that matched the descriptions shared by former U.S. military officials familiar with the propaganda campaign. The report said almost all of these fake accounts were created in the summer of 2020 and that they centered on the slogan, China ang virus or China is the virus. While the U.S. military started by targeting Filipinos, the propaganda campaign supposedly expanded beyond Southeast Asia before it was terminated in mid-2021. Reuters estimates that the U.S. military's fake accounts racked up tens of thousands of followers during the program, which took place during the last two years of the Duterte administration. The disinformation campaign was said to have started under former President Donald Trump and continued months into the Biden presidency. At a news conference, China's foreign ministry spokesperson Lin Jiang called the U.S. out. We have noted the relevant reports. Facts have repeatedly proven that the U.S. has been manipulating social media to spread false information, influencing public opinion to smear the image of other countries. This is a consistent practice by the U.S. and China is firmly opposed to it. The DOH says the Reuters report needs to be investigated. Assistant Secretary Albert Domingo said the report should also be heard by the appropriate authorities of involved countries. Domingo noted, though, that there are published peer-reviewed studies like one from BMC Public Health which found that vaccination decisions among Filipinos are determined by their age, educational attainment, health insurance, employer requirement, high awareness of the disease, and a high level of vaccine confidence. Meanwhile, former vaccine expert panel head Dr. Nina Gloriani says she doesn't believe that there was ever a smear campaign against Sinovac. Siguro ayoko maniwala o isipin that there could be such people doing a smear campaign like that. Mm. Kasi it was a pandemic, it was a pandemic time. Lahat halos nagwa-worry, sino mamamatay, sino gagaling. And we, we were running after each manufacturer ng vaccine kung sino makakabigay sa atin. And at that time, ang, ang China ang naunang nagbigay ng vaccine sa atin. It took a long time for the Western vaccines to come. DOH data show that over 181 million COVID-19 vaccines were administered in the Philippines by end 2023, almost 49 million of which were Sinovac shots.